What's up everybody? I'm Lee with Olsen Equine and today we've got a special guest. This is Ty Erickson, NFR Bulldogger, and he brought us his great horse Crush. Um, tell us about Crush. So you're getting ready to go to the NFR, right? Yep. When is that? Uh, it's going to be here in about 10 days it starts. Wow. Heck yeah. yeah. So what about Crush? What's his situation? So Crush, uh, he's 12 years old. We bought him when he was about 5 years old and have been bulldogging on him uh, for about uh, 4 or 5 years now. He's been great. Uh, he, he can really run and that's what makes him a great bulldogging horse, you know, and uh, I think it's really important to take care of your horses, you know, and get them right before the, before the finals, you know, and that's why we kind of took him to Marty Tanner, we got him right there and then brought him to you. That's why we, right. we wanted to bring him to you and make sure his feet are right and make sure he can fulfill his, all of his potential when we get out there. Absolutely. So uh, you said he's 12, right? Yep. Yeah, so this is the time when maintenance starts, you start finding out how good a job you've done prior to in his life. And to me, to be honest with you, no offense to rodeo people, but I was floored. There's nothing wrong with him. <laughs> he was sound and his feet were great. And this is the first time we've shot him. Um, but I was, it's just, the proof is always in the pudding on how well of care if you take care of your horse, and especially when they're 12. And, his feet are good, and uh, I'd like to give you the credit, but I'm not sure no. if that's right. No, I have to give uh, I pretty much all the props to my wife. You know, she she stays on top of me and makes sure that he's right and that we can do our job when we get out there. So yeah, it was very clear when they pulled in that uh, she had all the important questions, and I really appreciate that. And so you, um, she pretty much said that uh, with good shoeing, a lot of those little problems go away. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, I think if you get your horse shod right, it takes most of the problems away, and I think that's where it kind of starts. So, how big an issue is that when you're traveling? So, how many rodeos do you go to a year? Uh, we go to about 85 rodeos a year. 85 rodeos. That's a lot. Yeah. So, how big an issue is that geographically to make sure that you can trust the people shooting? Your yeah, and I mean that's the hard thing is when you're in so many places throughout the year, you know, you, you want to keep those horses on a schedule and in order to have a good chewer, it, it, it can be tough, you know, but there's a few a few guys out there that we know and, oh, yeah. yeah. Play the game long enough to figure it out. Yeah. That's good. All right, so your horse is obviously a gentleman and good to be around. He's excellent in the corner. I don't find that as um, on accident either. So tell us about how you, a horseman obviously, keeps him sound, safe, and secure in his job. Yeah, we, I, you know, we do a lot of box work when we're, we're in the practice tent to ensure that when we do get to the rodeos and there's that excitement with all the people, you know, that he's still focused and want to stand still to where when we nod our head and just start chasing steer. Do you practice on him or is it just practice all for him? Uh, no, we practice on him, uh, you know, especially, well, this time of year, we do take the start a lot because the start at the NFR is so tough, you know, but I think all the prep work helps with that. Do you have to leave before, like, like, when, like, not go and nod, or how short yeah, is that? Yeah, it, man, it's hard to explain, like, it's, it's the hardest start it, you could ever take in a steer wrestling, you literally have to and go before the steer and hopefully the steer leads. And that's why you see the big pull on a lot of people from yep. the steer didn't start? Yep. Oh man, couldn't imagine. Fully commit and on a guess. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right on. Well, um, so how we shod Crush today is we'll throw some pictures in there, but they're Eventer Pluses. Um, they're a really great shoe because they're beveled all the way around the edge. So if they were to hit themselves, it's not gonna, he's not gonna hurt himself, but it does have enough traction for a horse running so hard in a straight line. Also works well on barrel horses and team roping horses. So we wish you the best. Good luck to you. Go get them. Thank you.